Hello everybody and um, welcome to your maths lesson today. So as I mentioned in the um, previous PowerPoint, this week we are going to start learning our first number of the week. So each week we are going to be learning all about a new number. Okay, so this week it is all about the number one. And as you can see on this picture, there is one finger to show you the number one. So we're going to learn all about the number one. Let's see. All about the number one. Okay, so the number one can be shown in lots of different ways. So as you can see on this picture, there is uh, the number one with a finger. Uh, the writing is the number one written down. And then the yellow one is a number one pneumocon, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the number one pneumocon. So pneumocon um, are the little plastic things that we are going to be using to help us um, represent our numbers. Okay, so each week you will see that the pneumocon is very different. So the number one has one hole, as you can see, and it is orange. It looks a bit yellow in this picture, but it is definitely orange in real life. So this is what it looks like. So when you see this pneumocon, that is the number one. Okay, and then the next one is a picture of a dice. So I've got a dice here to show you. So a dice has got lots of dots on it and each side of the dice is a different number. So as you can see, if I show you this side, see if you can count the dots on there. One, two, three, four, five, so that's the number four. So for the number one, it looks like this. So you can see the red dice on the screen just has one dot for the number one. Can you see it there? So we use dice quite often to play games. If you've played a board game before, you might have used a dice. You have to roll it across the table to see what number you get. So if it rolls on this one here, that is the number one. So that's what number one looks like on the dice. So we've got the number one pneumocom and a number one dice as well. Or you can use your finger to show the number one. So, how many fingers are being shown? Can you hold up one finger? I can do it. You could, you know, you don't just have to hold up this finger to show the number one. You could hold up this one. That's one. Or you could hold up this one. That's also one. This one is also one. And this so is also one like that as well. So you can hold up whatever finger you want as long as it shows the number one. Can you have a practice at that? One. So do you know what this word says? So I just showed you at the beginning the different ways of, of showing the number one. This says one here. So this is the number one written as a word. Dice sometimes have numbers on them written as a pattern of dots. This is the number one. So that's what I just showed you, the number one on the dice. Number shape. So this is the number shape for number one, the pneumicon. The number shape has one hole or circle. So you could call it a hole or you could call it a circle, but it only has one because it represents the number one. So, can you spot the number one on the number line? So, have a look at this number line of all the different numbers on. Can you see the number one? See if you can point it out. What colour is it? Which numbers are next to the number one? See if you can work out which numbers are next to it. So, I'm going to click the hand to see if you got it right. Are you ready? That is correct. So if you pointed to that number, you are right. So we have zero, one. There it is. So the numbers that are next to the number one is zero and two. And the number one is in the middle and it looks like this. So thumbs up if you got that right. Well done. How about this number line? Looks a bit different, doesn't it? Can you spot the number one on here? Is it in the same place as last time? Can you see if you can spot it? 
Are you ready? I'm going to click the hand to see if you got it right. What colour is the number one? There it is. So, do you know what? Give yourself a fairy clap if you got that right. Fairy clap. Well done. So the number one is yellow again. And it is in the same place because it is next to number two and number zero. And then number one is in the middle there. Fantastic. Well done if you got that right. So, Ben wants to eat one piece of fruit for his snack. Can you help him? Click on a piece of fruit to add it to the plate. So Miss Num will do this for you. So we're going to count just one piece of fruit. And I'm going to choose a banana because that's my favourite. Are we ready? We're going to count as we click it. Oh, the apple moved instead. That took me by surprise. I thought I was going to choose the banana. One apple is in the basket. Can you see? So we don't add any more. Just number one. Anna needs to find the jar of sweets with one sweet. Can you help her? So have a look at these jars here. You're going to have to count which, how many are in each jar. So let's start with this one here. So we're going to count them. One, two, three. So that is not the number one because it has three sweets inside. Let's try this one down here. One, two, three, four, five. Is that the number one? That's not the number one. That has five sweets inside. Let's check this jar up here. One. Mm, I wonder if you can point to the right jar that has one sweet. I think it's this one. Shall we try? Well done. If you got that correct, give yourself a marshmallow clap. Good job if you got that right. Okay, so numbers as labels. So have you noticed how many numbers, how numbers can be used for labels too? So for example, you might see a number on a bus or a number on a door. Um, so have you ever seen a house with a number one on the door? So here's a picture of a house with a number one. I wonder if you know what number is on your door. So on my door at my house, I've got the number 10. So it's got a one in it, but it's not the number one on its own. It's the number 10, a one and a zero. I wonder if any of you have got the number one on your door. Be interesting to know. Okay, I've got some number one challenges for you now. So are you ready for a challenge? Okay, I'm going to click on one star at a time. Oh, I'm going to click on one star at a time. And we're going to reveal the challenge and you're going to see if you can complete them. So the purple star. Quickly find something in the room that you're in that shows the number one. So it could be anything in the room. It could be one cushion or one toy or one sock, or one uh, remote. You might have a remote in your room. So anything that shows just one. So I'm going to choose my Numicon, because that shows the number one. You might even have something in the room with the number one on it. I wonder. So I'll give you a few seconds to complete that one. Did you manage to find something that shows the number one? I wonder. Okay, then the pink challenge. Let's see. If you didn't manage to complete that, that's fine. You can go back to it after we've finished. Oh, there we go. Challenge number two. Quickly find one item and bring it back. So it could be anything. Find one item and bring it back. I'm going to choose my water. One bottle of water, not two, not three, just one. Did you manage to find one object? Well done if you did. Right, let's have a look at the orange challenge. Oh, this is a nice easy one. Can you do one jump? See if Miss Nun can do that one. Are you ready? Together, one. 
just one, not two, not three, just one. Well done if you managed to complete that one. Okay, last challenge. Can you show one finger? I think you can all do that one. Just one finger. Not two, not three, just one. Fantastic. Well done if you managed to do that. Brilliant. So congratulations, everybody. You are now an expert on the number one. So can you give yourself one pat on the back? Ready? One. Can you give yourself one clap? One. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Okay, then, for number one. So, um, back to the other PowerPoint. I've set you a challenge, another challenge for you to do. I want to see if you can write the number one on your paper, on a piece of paper. So you can use a pen or a crayon or a colour and pencil, and I want you to try and write the number one. Okay, see how many times you can write it. You can keep practising. Have a little... Um, practice at the other challenges we've got. Can you find, uh, can you all grown up give you a bit of a challenge of going to find one cushion or one shoe and see if you can, can do that for the number one. Um, and then I have posted a link to our number one number blocks video for you to watch as well. Um, so that will help you to learn a bit more all about the number one. Okay, so what number have we learnt today? Number one. Well done if you got that right. I'm going to give you one last clap. One. Fantastic. I think you all did brilliantly today, so well done. Um, and next week we'll be learning, our number of the week will be number two, because that's the number that comes next after one. So next week we're going to learn all about the number two. So well done, everyone. Thank you for listening today. Um, have a great number one day. See if you can do lots of number one activities today. Um, to make sure that you fully know the number one before we move on to the next number. So well done and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.